Okay, we're going to be painting ice cream today. So start with a pencil and just sketch out what I want. Just a circle here. For the ice cream and then triangle for the cone. I'm going to go ahead and have um, I think I'll do strawberry. So I mixed some pink up here. Just used red and white to get my pink. And I'll go ahead and fill the whole thing in. I'm trying to stay in the lines, but if I go out of the lines, it's okay. Okay, it's all nicely filled in. We want to add like a little bit of depth. So I'm imagining if the light's coming from here, I'm gonna get a little shadow down here. So grab a little more pink. And I'm just kind of like dabbing on where I think the shadow might be. And I can grab a little white. I'll put just a little bit of white here to lighten this up. And a little more white. That's looking pretty good. Now to get my cone color, I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange and white. I'm using white here because I want everything to look a little creamy. Maybe even a little brown. Oh yeah, definitely just a little bit of brown helps. a lot of paint there so I'm just gonna kind of thin that out okay I might do the same thing add a little bit of white here Give it a little more depth and shape. Paint's not doing exactly what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow. So I'm imagining the shadow might just if the light's coming from here, it might just be like this. And I'm gonna actually instead of just using black. Use some colors, some darker colors, and just kind of see how that looks. I'm choosing a little bit of purple here. Go ahead and fill that in. Grab some more purple. Make it dark. I chose purple because I thought it looks good with this pink. Maybe I'll throw a little red in there too. Just kind of see what happens. Mm, not a huge fan of the red, but I can kind of lift it and put a little water and mix it up. Now it looks pretty good. Now, when this part dries for the cone, I'm going to do a little texture, but I already have one here. I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to grab just a little bit of brown. I don't want too much, so I'll wipe my brush a little bit here. And I'll just do that crisscross texture. If, it, if this is too dark, which this looks too dark to me, just take a paper towel, press it down, and it'll lift some of that off. Or just don't put so much paint on your brush. to this texture though is you gotta wait until your first layer dries otherwise um, it'll all bleed together and you won't get those clean lines okay that's our assignment 